Mike here for the video number two of this uh, custom wallet that I'm making with the, the American flag on it. So um, I'll show you what I've got so far. The last video I left off, I was uh, painting the dye on the stripes. So now I've got the stripes all done and uh, the part around the stars. I'm not sure if I'll take white paint <clears throat> and uh, paint those stars or not, but it's looking pretty cool. Right now I just got to. Uh, punch the holes for this piece and stitch it on and then uh, move to the inside I'm going to stitch that piece on there and um, these pieces on, on that side So, I'm going to use my whole, four hole puncher again. Now I've got all my holes punched for the stitching. I'm going to put it in my uh, stitching pony here and go ahead and stitch it up. And I want to start somewhere where um, when, when I end, it's not going to show that much so I'll probably there'll be a panel on the inside here that will go about this far in so I'm probably gonna start my stitch over in this corner so when I do my back stitch and then I end my stitch it'll be covered by the, the uh, one of the inside panels sometimes you can't avoid that but it's always nice to think ahead a little bit and try to avoid it it makes things look nicer now I'm just going to estimate four times on each side and then four times here. That should be plenty. Okay, um, on the last video, I told you that I was uh, working on a couple knife knife sheets. I'll show you. I got, um, I got one in the dehydrator. Right now, it's still a little wet. 
but it's nothing fancy. It's just a plain uh, knife sheath uh, for this knife. I made it so that <clears throat> there was a retention around the uh, the handle, the end part of the handle here, so it won't fall out very easily. So when it, when it goes in, it kind of fit, kind of fits like a holster. It kind of just pops into place. So that's that. I gotta I'll let it finish letting it dry and then edge paint it and. Uh, Seal it up with some resin, and it'll be good to go. Back over here, so you can see what I'm doing. Not that it's exciting, but there might be some people out there that don't know what a saddle stitch is, or the process of making a wallet. So this, uh, it's not an instructional video, but at least it's a, <clears throat> a video showing my process and what things look like when they're being done. Then when you see the finished product, it's kind of neat because then you'll know, you'll know what I did to, to create it. Sometimes these holes you gotta kind of open up a little bit as you stitch. I don't like a really big hole. I don't. I like the hole just to be uh, big enough for the the needle to go through. Sometimes the hole just isn't quite isn't quite big enough. See, I'm glad that happened because this is a problem that I run into a lot and it drives me bananas. When I was crossing my needles through the hole, the one needle went through uh, the string on the other side. So I usually, I usually get lucky and um, there will just be a, a couple pieces of string <coughs> holding it there so I got to cut it. If I cut just enough string to get the other string free, then this isn't going to matter because it's going to be on the very end, and um, I'm not I'm not going to use that piece anyway. So by the time I get down there, it'll be I'll be all done with my stitch. But I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of guys that will take their needle in and they'll wiggle it and then as they're passing the other needle through they'll back their string out but man I don't want to go through all that so I just take the risk of stabbing my string every single time unless I just do one at a time which a lot of times I do just so I don't have to mess with the whole issue but I've only been doing it for three years, so maybe sometime down the road I'll pick up on it and get get better with that double needle saddle stick.
And I've gotten pretty far on it since the last video. I want to get uh, some good light in here. This would, um, let me snap it. It's going to have uh, a blue stripe on the American flag. Go all the way across. And on the in, inside is uh, the police badge. And uh, on the other side, there's going to be pockets. Three card pockets, and you'll be able to put uh, cash and stuff in here. And I'm, I'm going to leave this unstitched, so um, you could even stick some stuff back here. I know it's, it's really thick right there. But uh, you should be able to stick <clears throat> stick some stuff underneath there if you want. So uh, I'm getting ready to stitch, uh, make my stitch across here, and then I'll attach the, the this pocket panel to the wallet. Here's a little tip. Uh, I'm make, making my holes to go around the outside of the wallet. You're going to come across this gap between the two panels. And I found it hard to uh, make holes where it's really thin right there and really flexible. And it just doesn't work very well. So I take another piece of leather and I stick it in that, stick it in that gap. 
to help make up for that space so it doesn't flex so much. got my uh, acrylic leather paint. I'm going to start painting my, my wallet. I need to paint the third white stripe up. <clears throat> paint that third stripe blue. And then um, I got white. I think I'm going to go ahead and paint the white stars so they stand out so it's obvious what, what you're looking at because sometimes I've shown it to some people and they don't you don't recognize right away that it's a flag, so I'm going to go ahead and paint paint the stars white. But I'm going to start on this side and do the blue. I think I'm going to take some black and I'm going to outline it so that it really pops out. <clears throat> this is all um, acrylic leather paint. It stays uh, really flexible and it doesn't dry out and crack. It looks really good on leather for a long time.
Alright, got it all painted. The front, the back. All that part's finished. The inside is all good to go. Um, I used, for the snap, I used a uh, low profile spring snap. So it didn't stick way up. It sits nice and flush on the wallet. I've got the uh, edges all painted black, all sanded down and smooth and painted. So the next step is going to be um, this back piece right here. I'm going to uh, oil that with uh, Neat's foot oil. I want it to be uh, nice and flexible. I don't want it to crack, you know, in 10 years or whatever. So I'm going to oil. I'm going to oil this piece really well. Uh, the rest of it will be fine because um, it's it's not it doesn't need oiled so much. But so that's my next step. I'll move you down here and show you that part. I'm just going to take a wool dauber and. Uh, dip it in my Neat's Foot Oil and just put a liberal coat on. Um, I think I'm just going to do one coat so I'm just going to put on a, a bunch. Okay, that's that. And I'll probably, since this is going to be used a lot, um, I'll probably oil that. Alright, now um, to speed up the drying time on this, I'm going to stick it in my dehydrator. I've got a dehydrator here set at uh, about 105 degrees. I'll just stick that in there for a little bit. Now the uh, the oil is dried um, and soaked in to the back piece and this uh, snap strap. So the next step is going to be apply um, acrylic resiline to make it um, as water resistant as you can really. So um, I'm going to take this badge out real quick. And uh, the best way to apply acrylic resiline is with an airbrush. So I got my airbrush station set up. A bottle of acrylic. This is uh, Feebling's acrylic resiline. Brush, you don't really need that much resiline to cover it. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I do the inside. I'm going to make sure that flipping it over isn't going to mess it up. So, then once you apply the resiline, that it really makes the uh, it really makes the dye and the leather pop right out. It looks really really rich, and all the colors pop out, and uh, it just makes it look 
fantastic. Okay, let's do the inside. the rest of that back in there all right that's that got it all sealed it's all done thank you for being along with me uh, while I show you the process what all would go into a wallet like this um, really really nice looking wallet three card pockets on this side uh, police badge on that side um, American flag with the the blue line all right now um, I'm just gonna take some pictures of this in my light box and that's it see you next time